All right, today I decided to do the Beehive Trail at the Acadia National Park. I was unaware they have to pay or anything to get in, but you do. There's a little gate back there, 30 bucks, whatever. I've heard from a friend that it is a short trail, very steep, should be some good views. I've also heard it's kind of dangerous because it's on a cliffside and you know, if you're not paying attention, I guess you could fall off and die. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Hopefully that does not happen, but we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for it. And yeah, I'll catch you up there. Yep. So definitely some warnings right there. And it's pretty busy today. Tourist season still around. So there's a lot of people here. I'll kind of make my way up there. It's too crowded. I think I might turn back, maybe? We'll see. There was another couple who decided not to go because he seemed like there was a lot of people up there, so it gave him pause to go. But we'll see, we'll see. Here's what we're looking at. It is pretty steep, but it should be a good time, so. I guess we'll see how busy it is. Okay, so already, a really beautiful view. As my friend said, it's a pretty short trail, so considering it's pretty short, you'll probably hit some views pretty quickly. But here it is. Absolutely beautiful out. I think the rain's supposed to come in later today, but we still gotta keep going up, see if we can reach the top, and it should be a good time. It's a short one, but it's a sweet one. Still haven't made it to the top yet. It's kind of a lot of steep incline. As you can see right there. Lots of people making their way up. As you can see, I'm a bit winded, but it's been fun. Uh, I still got a little ways to go. I'm gonna just get on the side of there. So it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a lot of fun. See those views again. Temperature's real nice too. Real nice day out for it. Having fun. The top wasn't pretty much up. We made it, and as expected, it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. Just beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. We got some people, some travelers there, some foreigners, a little bit, maybe some locals from the United States. Everybody's having a good time up here, just resting. And if you want to check out some photos, I have some on my Instagram. Be sure to check those out if you're looking for some good stills. But I'm going to rest up here for now, and then I'll start headed back soon. So further along the trail, kind of along the northern end of it, where not too many people are still following. I mean, the trail does get marked up to this point, but not very many people seem to be walking here, but you still get some more gorgeous views. This one of the landscapes rather than the kind of the coastal line. So we got it right here. Just wonderful. Now it's approaching autumn. It's still late summer. Um, I'm not sure if you can notice, but some of the leaves are changing. I'm sure this is absolutely gorgeous during the fall. I don't know though. I might come back for it. We'll see. We'll see. But I can just imagine this all filled with orange and red. It look fantastic. Very, very beautiful. But that's for another time. This is late summer. So we got to make do with what we got. Still a gorgeous sight. And it's absolutely incredible. I'm going to continue to follow the trail to kind of see where it ends up. I'm assuming it's going to take me back down as a descent, but we'll find out. It was a good trail, it's a lot of fun, still enjoying it, and I'll let you know the next time I tune in. All right, so it looks like we kind of approached where the trail branches off. I've already gone to the summit, I guess I'll go to the bowl, which is gonna be 0.2 miles 
that away. Don't really know what to expect, but should be a good time. I'm gonna start heading off that way. I'm assuming this one's probably gonna be a little bit chiller than the other one. Maybe not as populated. Well, depending, I haven't seen too many tourists over here or just regular hikers, but we'll see. It looks to be a steep one. It's kind of right here right at the beginning, but nothing I can't handle. And cool. So it looks like that's going to be the way up. I will check back in once I get up there. But this one seems to be more of just a traversal trail. It's a lot of fun. We've got some rocks and stuff falling right here. Going through the woods. It's enjoyable. Very pleasant day out. It's still a bit cool because we are approaching fall. I think it's about 60, low 60s, which is about 14 degrees Celsius. It's not too bad though. Haven't had to bust out a hoodie or a coat or anything. And there is a pond or a lake down here, a tiny little lake. Not really little, but it's definitely not a pond. Lake down here. I wonder if this trail is going to wind up there. It does make me curious. It does look like that's the direction that we're heading, I guess. Now that I think about it, the name of the trail is the Bowl Trail. So it would make sense that we wind up at a lake. And what do you know, here it is. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Great, well, I'll start making my way down and once I reach that bottom there, I'll check back in. All right, so we've we reached the bottom of that small little cliffside. And we are at the lake. Beautiful lake. Wonderful. As you can tell, there's some people over there, some travelers. And I think we're all just enjoying the peacefulness. It's very quiet here. It's nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to keep on following the trail. I'm not too sure what it does. It might go around the perimeter there. I'll see, I'll see. But it seems to be a nice relaxing trail and a good change of pace from the Beehive Trail, which was very steep, just kind of vertical incline. Lots of climbing on that one, but I'm having a good time. It's a great time here and hope you're enjoying it as well. So I'm making my way through you know, at this point, I kind of don't know what trail this is. There was a sign back there. I had interac interacted with a nice couple who were just kind of exploring. And I inquired with them about the Beehive Trail. They were a bit hesitant to do the incline, but I told them that the descent on this side is actually a lot easier. So they're going to go check it out and wishing them the best. I'm sure they'll be just fine because, again, the descent down the northern end is way, way easier than the ascent on the southern end that is much more traveled. I don't know where this trail is going, but it's kind of fun. It's nice and relaxing. And it's just kind of a nice to be out here and enjoy nature. Just kind of keep on walking here. Peacefulness. So we got a little bit of a historical context for these items right there. So you see. There's a sign to just let everybody know to not move them, don't touch them at all, because of all those things. Pretty interesting. I know that there are some. I know that there's some other trails that use you know rock formations and stuff to designate where to go, but it's the first time I've ever seen that sign. It's pretty cool. Really interesting. Here's another one right here. Kind of. Following the trail. Highly recommend coming here. Obviously, it's a very big tourist spot, but you know, it seems like certain trails are more populated than others. So, if you're looking for a relaxing, peaceful hike, there's plenty of options here in Acadia to kind of determine what you want to do and where you want to go. But this trail is very enjoyable very calm not very intensive at all and allows me to just kind of enjoy the outdoors i 
kind of just followed the trail. I'm a bit unwise because I did not bring the park map. And so I was completely unexpecting the journey that I partook. But ended up on this mountain here and another gorgeous view. So just kind of for some perspective, the previous hill that I had climbed was actually the beehive one. It's that one right there. And so to kind of map what I did is I walked down that hill after coming up from the southern end of it, walked around that pond right there, and essentially walked up through the woods over here until I came up to this hill. Now the elevation dramatically increases down beyond those trees. You can't see it here. It's not steep, but it is an incline. So it does challenge you. Although I would say that there have been other trails in the north that have been more strenuous in terms of their incline. This one wasn't too bad. As for what I am going to do now, I'm not quite sure. My car is way over there on the southern end of Beehive. So I guess I have one of two options. I could keep on going with this trail, even though I don't really know where it ends, or I could return back to the path that I came from to then get to my car. We'll probably go with that one just to be on the safe side of things, but I don't know. Maybe I'll feel a bit adventurous. I know the rain is supposed to start swinging in around four or five. It's about 12.30 or so. I've got some time for that. But yeah, it is what it is. All right, so I descended down that hill, that mountain that I was on. I, it's like Mount, I forget what it's called. I'll put it in a footnote or something. But now I'm on my way to Leaf Sand Beach. It's kind of a, it's kind of a trail like this, pretty calm, mellow. It's kind of a nice walk, and yeah, we'll see what happens when I get there. Still don't really know how I'm going to get to my car. Uh, they might have shuttles or something that take you around. I, I really just don't want to go back the way I had come and go down. I don't even know if that's really a thing. So we'll figure it out. But I'm going to keep following this path here to eventually get to some destination. And I'll check in with you guys once I get there. So I ended up taking that trail back to the area where I had started. I decided to go and head and head to Sand Beach, a very, very popular tourist area. So as you can see here, lots of people, but it is a beautiful view. Wonderful day out, absolutely gorgeous. And I'll probably spend a bit of time here just kind of relaxing and check out some more trails that might be in the park and hey, my pass lasts for a week, so I might hop back down here again until next week on Sunday. So perhaps look forward to that and continue on journeying through this national park. It's just beautiful here. Really peaceful. All right, so I'm going to take it easy for right now, and then I'll check back in with you once I decide what I want to do. is now to hike the Great Head Trail. The reason being is because it connects right to Sand Beach and I found out if you hike the whole thing then it just winds right back up where the Beehive Trail starts. So I'll be able to end up right at my car again by hiking this trail. This one looks to be a pretty tame one. More of just like a casual, casual leisurely stroll so 
should be very scenic and beautiful though. Like everything else in this park. Looking forward to it. And I'll check back in with you later. Okay, follow the Great Head Trail and I am at the precipice of it, essentially. And no surprise here, it's a wonderful view. Sand Beach is way over there to give you some perspective of kind of how far out the peninsula is. I would assume it's a peninsula. And yeah, I'm gonna be chilling here for a little bit, just resting up, and I'll be hiking the rest of the Great Head Trail afterward. Check in later. All right, it's been a great hike along the Great Head Trail. Been taking photos, so be sure to check out my Instagram for all of those. And right now it seems to be relaxed a bit, more tame. It, along the coast it was kind of rocky, scrambling up a few boulders and stuff here, but right now it just looks to be a peaceful sort of walk through the woods. So I'll go ahead and just let things be as they are and enjoy the walk. So what I ended up doing is going down some pretty sketchy trail that was actually part of a road that was blocked off to unauthorized vehicles. Said nothing about pedestrians or nothing about no hiking. So I just went down it. It's that trail right there. Because this is the trail that leads right to my car. And yeah, it's gonna conclude my Acadia adventures for this week. Car's right there, up there, and we'll see about coming back next week to hike a few points that I was not able to get to today. There are tons of them here, and so it should be a good old time. Look out for that one. Hopefully it's next week. My schedule will allow it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the day.